<coughs> hey guys, it's Bro here, and in this video, I am teaching you how to make fire powder. This can be used on fuses if you want to make a fuse for a homemade bomb. Um, I will be making a video on that later. Um, but what you're going to need is a multi tool or scissors. I prefer the scissors, but you can use like the multi tools. You can use like the scissors and the multi tool, but I prefer the bigger scissors. You're going to want a sheet of paper some matches and a container of water just in case anything ignites you should always have some water so you're going to use your paper as your workspace so what you do as you see I've already gotten started if you look under my shadow the lights hiding them so I already got started but what you gotta do is you're going to take one of your matches and you're going to gently cut chunks off of the match head so, it's like that. Um, it's okay if you get some of the wood in it, because wood does ignite also, but you can just, like, shred it off on the wooden part. So, once, you should do the whole pack. Once I'm finished with the whole pack, I will get to the next video. So, I'll just do one more. And I will go to the next segment now, once I'm done. Okay, I finished the powder, but you should be finished with it now. I put all the sticks in this box, and I'm going to throw them away. But this powder is too coarse. You want a fine gunpowdery feel. So what you're going to need is something cylindrical, or something to smush it into a very fine powder. I'm using... Uh, Glasses, cleaner, canister, and a bobbin. So let's just... See, so get it nice and fine like that. And you can... And it might stick to the whatever you're using, so um. once you did this, the two colors of the wood and the match head should make a pink color, depending on what color your matches are. So, so I'm going to skip ahead again, and once it's all fine, I will get back to you in the next segment. Bye. Alright guys, now the powder is very fine. All you have to do now is store it in a container. I'm using a jelly bean container. So you just you know, make a little funnel of some sort. Get in the container, and some of it might stick to the paper, so you have to blow on it. Um, you could blow on it if you want. So yeah, you get the point. Oh, well, guys, hope you liked the video. First how-to video. Um, post some tips in the comments if you did not like the video. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye.